Nursing students at the University of St. Thomas are virtually living out patient scenarios. They have taken high-tech learning to a whole new level. Can you tell me what happened? Many medical workers wear goggles now during the pandemic, but a different kind are benefiting nursing students at the University of St. Thomas. Their virtual reality headsets, taking students into a new world of hands-on learning with virtual patients. This is just another way that we can provide them with something that's close to real life as possible, but without the fear of mistakes causing harm. This virtual experience offers conversations through speech recognition and artificial intelligence. They've developed these scenarios, particularly one for mental health training and one in pediatrics that take place in the emergency department where we see a lot of activity in those populations. So uh, it helps the students to be able to experience things they probably will never see in, uh, during their clinical rotations. The mixed reality device allows time for students to react and engage in realistic conversations, all while instructors monitor their reactions from a remote location. There's no okay. actors uh, um, answering for doing? them or having to press a button and, and answer into a microphone and those kinds of things. It is, that's how sophisticated this technology is. Students often practice their skills using mannequins in a simulation lab, but this new experience takes them to a new level of learning. This is a different different level because the students can actually interact with real-time responses that are not just a yes, no. Mm -hmm. it, the, the programming is just so sophisticated so am I? that they can ask questions and it will just catch questions. certain words to be able to provide answers in real time and um, help the students yeah. to lead them to the next question where they can develop their therapeutic communication can skills. This new way of learning is expected to help train students much faster. Plus, it's much safer than practicing on real patients as well. We can hear about it all we want, but if we've not practiced it in that simulated se setting where it's safe, if I make a mistake and I can reflect back on it, I have that memory. And I can tell you that students who make errors in simulation it won't go, it will never leave them. They will always remember that. So it only helps to improve our understanding and anything that can help us with communication, because that is so vital to everything we do as a nurse. I don't think that's relevant. I'm just here to make sure. My Isn't that fascinating? Yes, it Those is. Those virtual <laughs> patients are so lifelike. Right now, their advanced nursing students on their North Campus are the only ones experimenting with this technology. But hey, you never know if it goes really well. Maybe it'll just roll out to other areas. It, it's amazing that they're using virtual learning yeah. with the nurses, and the nurses really get the activity of doing their mm -hmm. job in the right way. Smart technology for sure. Oh.